If you're watching this video, you might be curious or, you know, have this question in mind as to, well, how do I write this sex scene? And usually I find that the question's not so much, how do I write the sex scene, but why am I uncomfortable writing it? Or um, what's stopping me from writing this particular scene? Usually when we're asking questions like this, it's very easy for us to get into that procrastination zone. It's the same kind of thing where it's like, you know, I'm trying to figure out if my protagonist is going to do A or B. What should I do? And quite honestly, you just have to write the, so the scenes out to see how it works. My, you know, current novel, I first wrote out the draft and I first wrote out everything with sex scenes and all of that. And I realized, you know, now that everybody, their characters have made all these different decisions, I go back and I start to refine my characters. And by refining my characters, they tend to make different decisions. And that ultimately also helps me to sculpt and shape the sex scenes too. So, um, you know, when I start to think about what kind of audience is going to be reading this, I can skim sort of explicit content. Uh, when I think about the characters that involve that are involved and how they might be approaching these particular scenes or these events, that also helps me to skim a little bit more of the sex scene down. So that really is the way that I approach sex scenes. I approach them like I approach any other scene in the book, if it's not supposed to be there, then it's going to be taken out. If it has no relevance to the story whatsoever, I don't believe that, you know, a sex, a sex, scene, a sex scene should be put into a book in order to get people to read it or get excited by it. I, you know, think that's just sensationalism and it doesn't really make for good writing a lot of the time.